I'm Monica with Your Health Source, and I'm going to show you how we make kombucha at our home, or in our home, and it's a cultured food, so I'm just going to explain it to you very, very briefly. The first thing I do on Sundays is I boil two pot, teapots worth of water. I'm just going to show you one today, so everything's going to be based on one batch of kombucha. So I boil the water, and then I take six tea bags, all right, I put them in one of these glass containers, and I add one cup of sugar. So I laid out a couple of kinds of sugar. This is organic supernaut. There's also, this one is a more refined one, the organic cane sugar. You can use store-bought sugar because what happens is there's a culture in there or a mushroom, and this mushroom will eat off the sugar. So I don't actually consume this sugar myself. The culture does it. So just as an example, this was from Sunday. Um, I boiled the water. I put it in this dish with these tea bags, left them overnight. It's totally fine, so let me show you. So there's my hot water was in there, a cup of sugar immediately so that the water would dissolve it, and then the tea bags. Now we'll just squeeze those off and throw them out. It happens to be organic. It's called organic black tea. I've made it with herb tea, and I've also made it with decaf. So if you don't want any caffeine at all, then you can go for that. You can try it and see how it works for you. I've read online that you have to use green tea or you have to be real specific, but I found out kombucha is actually more flexible than you realize. So organic black tea works great for me. We get this from our dry good list. The sugars are on our dry good list too, or you can go the least expensive route is to buy the cheap, refined sugar at the grocery store. So that's the only way or reason I would buy that sugar is for that reason to go into this part of the process. So my tea has sat, it's cooled. I could have on Sunday started the process, but usually we just wait till the next day. And then what we do is we take our, our mushroom here, and we have to have very, very clean hands. But you have to take this out. And this happens to be a large one. This is called the mother. If you know anything about apple cider vinegar, there's a little bit of uh, pulp or something in the bottom. And if you leave it long enough, it'll grow into a little mushroom on the bottom. That's what this is. Now, we need to break ours up and take part of it and just toss it or give it away or put it in the garden. But basically, you take this out and all this tea is going to be poured into the jars. So this tea will be my refreshing tea. So after this is empty, I'm going to pour the sugar tea in here put the lid on it, set it aside, and it'll sit out for a week until the next time we do it. And I clean my jar about every other time. So it's not super particular, but that's what we do. So I take this tea out, and I'm going to put it in these jars. And there's a second ferment. So that was our first ferment. When you put it here, it's fermenting for a week. Then at that day, Sunday when I get finished boiling the tea and it's nice and cool, because hot tea will kill your mushroom, when it's cool, you can just pour it in once you've taken this off. So you take this tea off, and you begin putting it in every one of your jars. But before you do, if you want that second ferment and you want fizzy kombucha like a soft drink, then what you're going to do is take a juice, 100% organic juice. This happens to be Concord grape. We love peach juice, apricot juice, cherry juice. You can try all kinds of 100% pure juice. And the way we do it, we take these jars and we put a quarter, three quarters of a cup of juice in here, in each one using a funnel. We also do a teaspoon of sugar. Actually, sugar goes first because it's dry when you first do it. Put your sugar in, put your juice in, and then you can put, put your tea in. So you can fill it all the way to about here on a 32-ounce bottle, and then the rest of the way you can fill up with water, and that will extend your tea and make it a little less strong. Wonderful, fizzy drink. You could put the sugar in, put your three-quarters of juice in, and add a cup of water there, and the rest needs to be this tea poured in. Then you seal it up, you set it out in your home, not like in direct sunlight, but just somewhere in a kind of a cool place. It doesn't need to be dark or anything like that. But then you put the lid on, seal it up, set it out, let it sit out. And we, we set it out all day Monday, all day Tuesday, and usually Wednesday we put it in the refrigerator. Then it's ready to drink. So I will show you briefly, I think I told you everything. Um, this is a chilled bottle of kombucha, and I'm going to open it. And I'm going to see if I can make it to where you can see right quick. And I always open it with a towel over the top just to make sure I don't accidentally create a problem. And the reason I say that is because it will be fizzy. It is a culture drink, and it can shoot up. And so we always cover it, and we open it. Okay, that's like that. Sometimes it will come up out of the jar. Maybe you can see the little smoke on top. But it's a wonderful fizzy drink. Um, if I can show you. You can kind of see that it's fizzing. So at that point, I just put it over ice. I might add a little leaf of mint, maybe some maple syrup. I put lime juice in it. I like to put a little Plexus, Plexus packet in it because I do like Plexus Slim, which is a little product I enjoy. 
But you can do lots of things. My mom recently was given some peach syrup, so she puts a little squeeze of that, and it gives it that little peachy flavor. So this one happens to be dark, but your clearer juices like apricot or peach will make it a lighter color. Very, very, very refreshing. And I just encourage you to search it out, learn about it, and if you enjoy kombucha, make your own. You will save so much money doing that. It's very expensive to buy it at the store, and I hope you include this in your diet because this is one of many cultured foods that will do you well all the days of your life. Thanks so much.